up my channel today we're getting into a wash and go and oh my gosh my hair needs it so bad my scalp has been so itchy i don't even know what day we're on right now i just feel like lately with my hair like just having so much more hair y'all i've been so much more lazy with my hair but anyways we're gonna deal with her today the wash and go today is actually a special request from one of y'all so shout out to you elaine thank you for submitting a content request this is for you girls specifically but we're getting into a wash and go today that is utilizing much more affordable products. I typically get sent a lot of the bougie products I realized in PR, like Briogeo and all the products that are typically range between like $20 and up. So what I did was I went to Target and I kind of wanted to stay near, at or near or even under $10 if possible per Product. I was hoping to be under 30. We're gonna be probably at around $35 total for this entire wash and go, which I still think is pretty good. So yeah, basically we're gonna get into these products, get into this wash, and I'm gonna show y'all how you can get a wash and go that's still bomb, still gonna last you all week, but cost you a whole lot less. Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So for shampoo, I saw this one from Mayel. Do y'all say Mayel or Miel? I'm actually not sure which one it is, but Mayel, Miel, whatever. This is actually my first time trying one of their shampoos ever, which is kind of weird, but I've never received product from them. So honestly, like if I don't receive it, which sounds so like, but I received so many products. And so it's like, if I don't receive it, I'm not very likely to try it, but I'm trying it today. I am excited. So this is their Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. I just love the fact that it had mint in there. I feel like it's something that my scalp needs right now. This was, look, I got literal receipts here for y'all. So the shampoo was, so it was listed for $10.79. So right at, or just under $11, but my is having this buy one, get one 25% off at Target. I don't know whether that's still going on now as you guys are watching this, but hopefully maybe it is. And I did end up getting two. So I got this shampoo and then I also saw this rice water deep treatment. Again, my first time trying this. I know this went like viral and was like super popular when they first came out with it. When I saw rice water on the bottle and aloe vera, I was like, ooh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. It also smells really nice. So that one's regular price is $10.29, but with the buy one, get one 25% off, both products were $9. Like the shampoo came out to $9.47 and then the deep conditioner came out to $9.03. So doing really well there. I did kind of take a look at like what kind of products they do or don't include in here. So I see like no parabens, no sulfates, no paraffins, no mineral oil, no DEA, no animal testing, which is always a really, really great sign. I also looked on the back for silicones and I don't think I saw any silicones, although they don't like specifically say that on the product that there's no silicones. But I like kind of like went through line by line. I couldn't see like any obvious silicones in the products. So I also got another option for conditioner. This is the Not Your Mother's conditioner. I've actually used the deep conditioner version of this. This is just the regular conditioner version, but still love it. It's the Not Your Mother's Curl Definition line, the Tahitian Gardenia Flower and mango butter it smells amazing amazing and she is a whopping $8.99 so also $9 so I guess I gotta decide whether I'm gonna do a deep conditioner or just a regular conditioner today I am kind of really intrigued by the rice water deep conditioner so I think that's what we're gonna probably get into and then last but not least our styling products Y'all already know how I feel about the Dew Mousse Def Foam Styler my absolute favorite like I keep bottles and bottles on deck. But when I was at Target, I saw that they had another foam and it's called Crazy Sexy Curl and it's supercharged with honey. So this is from their honey collection, which is supposed to be like more moisturizing. It literally says on here, so specially formulated for thirsty hair on the mend. I would say, I mean, my hair is not like damaged or anything, but I would say my hair is pretty thirsty today at this point. Um, so I'm excited to try this out, see how different it is from Mousse Def. What I'm hoping for is that it gives a little bit of additional moisture, but still has like the same kind of hold and curl definition as Mousse Def. But we'll see, because we're gonna try it out today. This one was the most expensive product that I found. It was for $13.99. That's a lie, that's for my detergent. 
The phone was 1369. Even though this is our more expensive product of the day, it is still a lot cheaper than your regular like $24 product. It's definitely some savings here. So I'm excited to kind of see how it comes out. I've never used any of these products before, so this is an entirely new wash and go combo. I don't know, I feel like I have high hopes, y'all. So let's jump straight in. I'm gonna meet y'all right back in the shower. All right, let's dig in to the shampoo. It actually says it's infused with biotin and encourages growth and stuff, so I'm here for it. I'm actually really hoping to be able to feel a nice minty sensation on my scalp because it needs it right now so bad. Okay, so initial thoughts on the shampoo. It feels really, really good the consistency of it itself is like it feels like a very moisturizing shampoo like it's not like super clarifying or anything it's not as minty as i thought it would be like i'm not feeling that like super minty tingly feeling i'm feeling it maybe slightly if i concentrate really hard um so i do miss a little bit of the mint but otherwise it feels really really good on my curls and i feel like it is super super moisturizing but also very cleansing because it gets really nice and scentsy as well. So far, I am loving. Oh yeah, my hair and my scalp feel really good. And you know what? That shampoo actually has a lot of slip as well. So I was able to detangle a little bit. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little lazy so I did not fully detangle. But there was enough slip to get a little bit of detangling done. So I like that. Now I'm really excited to dig into this rice water deep conditioner. Look at this consistency. I think that's what I'm excited about the most. Look at this. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it just looks so like soft and silky and just, I just know my curls are about to drink this stuff up. Oh my God. You guys, this might be one of my new favorite protein deep conditioners because this is gonna be added to my rotation for sure. My hair feels so I detangled a little bit with my detangling brush. And I know I'm probably late to the party on this product, but I finally arrived and I'm glad I have because this feels amazing. Look at it. How did we get here? How did how did we get here already? I'm confused and I'm very ready to chop, but I'm not. Not yet at least. <laughs> so last but not least, now we got a style and I'm so like, I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to be disappointed at all because I love his sister moves that so much that I don't I don't want this to like fall short for me, but we'll see. We're about to find out right now. Whew. Okay, right off the bat, that fragrance. I've had other honey products before that I don't like because I don't know, something about a strong honey smell is just not really what I like to smell like. Um, but this one is not so bad. Still a strong honey smell, but it's not so bad. Like for example, for reference, I do not, like I actually, Got to the point where I can't stand the smell of the Camille Rose Curl Mousse, the orange one, the honey one. I can't stand the smell of that. I don't feel like that about this one because it has a little something extra in there. I don't feel like, oh my God, I don't want to continue. Like it's okay. I already do prefer the smell of Mousse Daff though. <laughs> You guys, if this dries the way I think it's going to, 
we might one have a bomb wash and go combo on our hands and two i might prefer this foam over the other one let's go dry her up bruh okay it is day two and i shook i'm shook i by the way i went to the gym already this morning it's about 10 30 ish a.m i just freshly showered and everything and these results are giving so much life to me right now i haven't had a wash this good in a minute like it's the curl definition for me but also we got some volume up in here i didn't actually even need to fluff my hair out at all it just like ended up on its own with this perfect mix of insane curl definition and volume and i cannot even tell you how good my hair feels because sometimes you can like make your hair look good but it doesn't feel good but this is everything you know what i think works out really well for this wash i think we did a really good balance of protein and moisture and like i said my like i was due for my protein wash the protein in the rice water treatment i believe there was a little protein in the shampoo as well i think it was like a strengthening shampoo and then we styled with like pure moisture with that honey foam dare i say i think i might actually like it better then moves deaf and i like would have never thought i was like there's no way we can't possibly get better than moose deaf but i think we did it's like in comparison i feel like moose deaf has a little bit more hold crazy sexy curl honey girl i just made that up okay the honey girl part the honey foam styler is giving moisture and that I feel like offered me a lot more curl definition like my curls just absolutely loved it I do still have a good amount of hold but I didn't have a crunch I have solid definition that I'm not worried about frizzing out like the curls are in formation if I were ever to request a perfect wash and go this would be it honestly I'm really considering making the switch there was that one thing the smell so guess what the smell does not stick around that camille rose honey curl whip the orange one the orange mousse that smell is so strong and it sticks around and you smell all the time this honey smell did not stay and i love that my hair still smells like i don't know it doesn't really smell like anything like it just smells like fresh and clean it doesn't really have like an actual scent to it and i love that and i'm excited to keep playing around with this new um honey styler to see you know after a couple washes how it continues to do in my curls this wash overall absolutely probably even a 12 out of 10 exceeded expectations way better than i was expecting and i love it for us because the entire thing all the products totaled under 35 dollars so you know what I think we've proven today? Good news, you do not need to spend $20 per product to get a bomb wash and go. You just don't. Anyways, that is basically going to be it for this video. Leave me in the comments and let me know what you think. And let me know if there's some other affordable products that I need to go out there and try. Because look, I feel like I've been missing out a little bit. So comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Meet me in the comments. And I'll meet y'all right back here next week. Same time, same place for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.